their place on Earth. Oh, it's absolutely insane. Increases your chances of marriage. What? <laughs> okay. Can you climb that? Maybe. Maybe not advised. What's going on, guys? Welcome to a new video. Slightly different for today's video because we're still in um, national lockdown here in the UK. So I thought I would do a reaction video to a, na a national park that one of my American friends rec recommended me to uh, to watch, which is Yosemite. I'll say that right. I kept calling it Yosemite last night, but yeah, brilliant, eh? Um, yeah, I won't bore you for too long. Let's just watch this video together, and uh, yeah, I'm just keen to see. I've never watched this before, so I'm keen to see the uh, the comparisons to from where I'm from, which will obviously be huge differences because I'm from the north of England, so my stomping grounds is the uh, the Lake District in the UK. Uh, but yeah, let's watch this, see how it goes. Just 165 miles from San Francisco lies one of America's greatest treasures. Yosemite National Park sits on the western slopes of California's Sierra Nevada mountains. Uh, yeah, I chose this one because um, my friend that lives in America said that this was the the most famous national park. When I asked him what is the most famous, I wanted to react to the, the whatever would be the most famous one. It also occupies a special place in the nation's soul. Yosemite's story began as the last ice age ended, when the glaciers of the region's high country scoured and sculptured the valley below. Managed by the National Park Service and covering almost 1,200 square miles, Yosemite takes in five vegetation zones, from oak and chaparral woodlands to sparse alpine high country. Absolutely love trees like that. I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm out in the in the Lake District, in, in the middle of a forest somewhere, the bigger the tree, the better. I'd, I'd love to be amongst all those trees. <laughs> of the four million visitors who come each year, most spend their time in Yosemite Valley, which is open year round. At only eight miles long and one mile wide, this valley packs in more jaw-dropping scenery than just about any other place on Earth. Oh, it's absolutely insane. You just, you just don't get views like that. Oh yeah. Well, you get, you do get amazing views, but these are just on a different level, absolutely different level. As you enter the Yosemite Valley Ring Road from the west, it's worth taking a short detour to Tunnel View and stand before a sweeping panorama that's reduced generations of visitors to silence and many to tears. To the right, there's the ethereal mist of Bridal Veil Fall. To the left, the sheer granite face of El Capitan. Ethereal mist of Bridal Fall? Where are they going with that? While in the background, the rising majesty of Half Dome beckons you deeper into the valley. From Tunnel View, it's just a short drive and then an easy walk to the base of Bridal Veil Fall. The fall reaches its peak in May, yet possesses a magic all year round. If you're looking for love, breathe deeply. The park's original custodians, the Awanichi, believe that inhaling the fall's mists increases your chances of marriage. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take his word for it. The park's ring road follows the banks of the Merced River, a national wild and scenic waterway which shifts in character as it thunders and tumbles from the valley walls before gently winding across the valley floor. Here, the river is lined with pine forests, rich meadows, and beaches. Nice. These are the places to pause and let the park's spirit wash over you. These are the places which inspired President Teddy Roosevelt to write, it was like lying in a great solemn cathedral. Just look how red those trees are. Like, we, we don't, we, do. I've, I've not seen a, a tree like this here. This, it's like really deep color red. 
Like, that's nice. That is a nice looking tree. Cool. Far vaster and more beautiful than any built by the hand of man. Sorry, I just go back. See, we have scenes like this. Um, we have really big fells. Um, but I don't know. These just look... Well, obviously, it is on a different scale. But, yeah, I feel like... I, we, you know, you feel small when you're in the Lake District. Never mind stood in the middle of Yosemite Park. The Yosemite Valley Ring Road is dotted with trailheads that lead off into 800 miles of hiking trails. First cut almost 150 years ago, the four-mile trail climbs the valley's southern wall to two of the park's greatest outlooks. At Glacier Point, gaze down into the entire valley and away into the distant high country. Nice epic. A little further along, whatever breath you have left will be taken away by the views at Washburn Point. So I'm guessing you can climb this, this uh, summit here. I have no idea though, but I'm guessing they would, well, I don't know. Can you climb that? Maybe, maybe not advised. If you're pressed for time, you can also access these outlooks by car or tour bus via Glacier Point Road, which is open between May and November. Good to know. Further along the ring road is the trailhead for another of Yosemite's signature hikes, the Mist Trail. This five-hour hike is for moderate to experienced hikers, but repays every step with even more stunning vistas. It looks really well looked after, like a lot of the... A lot of the trails, they look really clean. I mean, I suppose, like you said, you can only drive up in certain months of the year, so there's there's probably quite a lot of maintenance that happens during winter months and stuff. But that you, like I must say, for for the Lake District in in the UK, that a lot of the trails are really well maintained as well by the National Trust. So yeah, really clean place. And the spectacle of Vernal and Nevada Falls. The Mist Trail links up with the John Muir Trail, named after the grandfather of America's national park system. In his 1912 book, The Yosemite, the naturalist wrote, everybody needs beauty as well as... Those trees, man. Those bits of bark are just literally bigger than my head. Brilliant. I, I just get so excited about trees. <laughs> Bread. Places to play in and pray in where nature may heal and give strength to body and soul alike. It was writings like this which helped seed Yosemite into the consciousness of a nation and led to its designation as one of America's first national parks. After crossing the river at the valley's eastern end, the ring road turns west toward Yosemite Village. At the museum, explore the culture of the valley's first peoples. Then, at the Visitor Center, learn about the miners, ranchers, artists, and entrepreneurs who followed. And don't miss the Ansel Adams Gallery, dedicated to the photographer whose timeless black and white images have inspired millions to see Yosemite for themselves. From March to October, the park gets busy, so consider leaving your car at the village and exploring the valley on the free shuttle service. Or enjoy the valley views from two wheels. Follow the 12 miles of bike paths which loop along the river and cross dreamy meadows filled with wildflowers. That's pretty cool. That'd be nice to uh, to have a bike along all the flats. Yeah, that'd be a... I'm guessing you can do all that in a, in a one day. Although I don't really know how big Yosemite Park is, but I guess maybe you can't do it in one day taking in the valley's star attractions along the way. 
that's just epic, man. You just don't, you don't, you don't see stuff like that here. Yeah, it's absolutely awesome. For thousands of years, the Awanichi had villages throughout this fertile valley floor, but it was here at the base of Yosemite Falls where their great chief resided. The falls flow in three sections, which you can see in their entirety from vantage points all over the park. But nothing compares to taking the one hour hike to feel the full force of lower falls or spending the day climbing all the way to the upper falls. When it comes to climbing, El Capitan, a 3,000 foot high granite monolith, has become a rite of passage for climbers from all over the world. Uh, I've watched a, I've actually watched a video of this El Capitan, someone free solo in it. If I can, if I find the the video that I watched, I'll uh, I'll link that down below as well. Somebody climbing the entire thing without any any equipment whatsoever, just a bit of dust on his fingers. The first ascent in 1958 took 47 days. From the comfort of El Capitan Meadow, sit back and watch modern climbers who have reduced that same climb to a couple of days, or sometimes to just a few hours. As the ring road winds back towards the park entrance, stop at Valley View for one long look back. But there's no need to feel heavy hearted because there's so much more of Yosemite to discover just up the road. To the north of Yosemite Valley climbs one of the USA's most scenic highways. Tioga Road is impassable between October and May, but as the snow clears, the road re-emerges, rising into the rugged Sierra Nevada high country. Pull over and fill your lungs with... It's a lot different um, scenery, like very different. Uh, pretty much everywhere you look in the UK, it's, it's either light green or dark green. There's... Although there's a lot of bright greens here, there's, it's very rocky. It's a, it's a lot more of a rocky landscape compa in, in comparison. Cool alpine air at Olmsted Point. Refresh yourself by the pure waters of Tenaya Lake, named in honor of Yosemite's last great chieftain. Like that mountain there above the trees. In the UK, the, all of this would literally just be like shrubs and thistles and thorns and... Yeah... I mean, it looks great, but it's out to get you. Then follow the road further to Tuomni Meadow, the traditional summer hunting grounds of the Awanichi. Today, this subalpine meadow is the perfect place to stock up on serenity or to pick up one of the many trails that lead to further alpine adventures. One of the shortest but most rewarding trails leads to Lembert Dome. Wow, that is a slope and a half. Awesome. Named after one of the park's earliest settlers. Oh, as if you can just walk up the side of it. That's so cool. That'd be epic to go and do. From its high country to its waterfalls, from its towering sequoia to its valley meadows, Yosemite is an American story unlike any other. It is a place where a nation returns again and again through the best and worst of times to breathe, to be inspired, and just be. For this is a place, John Muir once wrote, that is far easier to feel than to explain. This is a place to wash the spirit clean. looks absolutely awesome and I would uh, I would love to um, get the, the chance to visit it one day um, yeah this is a, a new type of video for me but if you enjoyed it you know drop me a drop me a like leave a comment um, I might do some more of these in the future if, uh, if people seem to like them um, 
or I might do some comparison videos where I take a video like this and something closer to home for myself and just do some direct comparisons. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.